What's going on? What's going on? Lurik O'Shea here, music creator, educator, and entrepreneur. And I'm back with you with part three of the music visualizer uh, tutorial videos in Apple's Motion 5. So in the previous videos, in video one, we created the background. In video two, we created our first line. And now in video three, I'm going to show you two different ways to change the color of that line. option number one so we're going to come in motion five all right i'm going to click on my group that had the line in it's called original line then i'm going to click on the line and i'm going to come over here to shape and you see outline has a check mark and all i have to do is click right here in the rectangle where it says brush color click on this and then just pick a color now that's one way to change the color you can also come over here to properties. You can add a drop shadow to add a little bit uh, more flavor in it. So I can add a yellow drop shadow. You can blur it or, you know, not blur it. Um, so I like the blur effect. So that's one way that you can change your colors. The other way that you can change the color is you can create a gradient. All right, in order to create a gradient, we need to create a new group. So shift command N, create a new group. We're gonna label this uh, by double click on it, double clicking on it. We're gonna call this one gradient. Then we're gonna come over here right above our timeline. We're gonna click on the rectangle and we're just gonna draw a rectangle across the entire um, background. Now we're gonna click on rectangle and what we're gonna do is just make sure this takes up the entire uh, screen. So I'm just gonna drag these uh, anchor points out and there we go. All right, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on the rectangle. We're gonna, going to come over here, I believe it's in shape, and where it says fill mode, instead of color, we're gonna click on gradient. Now once we're in gradient, it's a few different ways we can do it. I mean, click on a drop down triangle and change each individual color, or we can click on the drop down arrow right here and just, you know, start with a few presets. All right. I actually like that preset. So just for the sake of the video, I'm going to do it like that. All right. Now we're going to click on the rectangle again in the project pane, shift command M to add a mask. So now we have an image mask. And now what we're gonna do to make our line take the color of that gradient, we're gonna click on original line and just drag it into the mask square right here. And now, as you can see, our line takes on the color of the gradient. And those are the two ways that you can change your color in motion five. In video four, I'm gonna show you how to replicate and duplicate the line so that we can have multiple lines so it can start looking like a real audio uh, frequency analyzer. Peace.